in light here back with another street fighter duel video in this video i'm gonna go over the top five tips and tricks and things i think you can really do to maximize your account in this game for free to play early game late game all players of the game i feel like a lot of these tips can be utilized to maximize your account all right my first tip is going to be in global operation. When you're in global operation on any stage and you're doing a stage and you fight someone and let's say you're losing the fight, right? Oh no, my Ryu died, my Guile died. You can click this button here, click leave, okay? And your units will still be alive and you can redo the stage. Okay, so this is really nice for some of these harder stages because if you lose a unit, there's no way to revive them. You have to restart the entire operation and it really makes it hard to progress in these game modes. But knowing that you can save your run by leaving and then retrying the fight to get some better RNG can really help progress through some of these stages, okay? Also, this can be used in Inverse World, and it also can be used in Shadaloo City. If you lose a unit, you can also leave and save them. But there is revives in here and healing, so this is a little bit easier and not as big of a deal if something like that were to happen. All right, moving on to my second tip. You really need to utilize the shop here. So. Almost every day I buy breakstones in here, um, and since my money's getting tighter, I'm kind of buying things a little bit less in here. But just remember that this is going to be a really nice source of breakstones or shattered crystal balls if you need them. Origin tokens are also in here. You will have to be a little cautious with your money because this is a lot of money to spend on origin tokens. <laughs> but you really need to utilize this shop. And also, I would recommend, not all the time, okay, but once you start getting to SS gear, I do think it's worth it to buy some of these pieces, okay? For example, if this was on 10%, right, it's about 2800 okay? I can get this on my M-Bison, and it's like a 10-pole, okay? And a 10-pole, a lot of the times, you're not going to get a lot that can progress your account, but buying one of these pieces of gear is a huge progression step okay now I'm not saying use all your gems to buy these pieces of gear but if you bought gear from here right and you just need one more piece to maybe push a stage you've been trying to push using gems is not the worst idea but obviously you're gonna want to utilize guild currency the most okay and you can buy things um, in here to really progress your account and get your units um, a lot stronger okay so don't forget gears in the guild shop don't forget to buy your Tanuki Roll Fragment, okay? These shops are very important for progression. Also, in here, you're going to want to get all of these superior accessories, B Fragment uh, units, every reset. Now, you can get the A Fragments if you want to, but I just feel like these other Fragments are a lot more... Uh, important for progressing account the account because you might get some random character out of here that you don't need at least you can get some lightning fodder and then you can get these to upgrade your gear and these are very very nice in here especially at the beginning of your account this is what i used on my free to play to really push also in the city shop again i'm buying all of the fodder in here now you can obviously save for specific units, like if you want jury fragments. I'm not super worried about saving for her in particular, but if in 17 days I can get to the 150, I probably will grab her. There's nothing else I really want in here. I kind of want the guy and potentially the guile, but really probably get the jury and call it good from here. And obviously for, that's for my account, but for your account, get all this food. In the honor shop, okay, once you unlock on your 13th day, Super Showdown Arena, 
it, you, you start getting these tokens a lot easier. So buying from this shop becomes a lot more feasible, okay? And you can get Helena Fragments, Rose Fragments. This is a very solid shop, Makoto Fragments. There's a lot of good units in here. The Yuns, the Dalsums, that can really help progress your account. Obviously, there's food in here too, and I'm always gonna grab food. I think food's very important, especially if you're a light spender, free to play. It's really hard to get a lot of food, so you really wanna utilize these shops for food, okay? And gear, gear is gonna be very, very important. Now, a lot of people are gonna tell you not to spend gems on gear. I'm not saying spend all your gems on gear, I just think that it can give you a lot of progression to buy one of these, okay? And tip number three is going to be start on a new server, okay? Now, this is not gonna work for everybody and I understand there's going to be whales on servers, okay? But if you can get top three on your server, all right, the amount of rewards you get are insane. You get four A units, you get a 10 pull, you get 6,000 gems, and you I'm gonna assume you're gonna get floor 100. And also you're going to get three K breakstones, you're going to get strengthening tokens, and you're going to get 5,000 gems. Now, if you can, get top three on a server even a new server and i just did this on my free to play account and i would say if you're a light spender or if you get a little lucky it's pretty feasible to do that obviously you're going to be competing with a lot of people but this tip is more for like the grinders the people that like re-rolling stuff like that because obviously you're going to want to re-roll grab a bison and then try to do something like this that'll make it a lot easier but just a big resource boost if you are looking for a grind, okay? And I think that's very strong on early, the early game accounts because also on 1140, you get a big 18 day boost into your account of cash, XP, and break zones, which is huge, okay? And on 1840, you get to choose two pieces of gear, okay? Which again, is also insane. At base, this is like 7K resources, but I would say it's more like a 20K resource because you're literally picking the for the, the units you want. I haven't actually used my box yet on this account, but very, very strong. All right, tip number four is you're gonna need to make friends, okay? Because you can utilize a lot of strong characters in this game that people already have by getting them as mercenaries and they can really help you to progress in the game. Say you can't get an M. Bison, you can't get a Fashion Sakura, okay? You can use your friends, all right? And they're very strong units. And I think you can find some very strong friends that you can borrow from and it's gonna really benefit you in the long run, okay? And make it a lot easier for you to progress, especially on those last stages of campaign, okay? Now, my fifth tip is going to be, you probably have heard a lot of talk already about this if you've been playing this game, but there is a unit that is a blue unit, all right? That these are normally food, okay? But this unit in particular is very good for free to play in early game players because his super, you get almost immediately when the fight starts, okay? And it allows you to go into a combo very quickly you're going to deal less damage to the target that's in combo but he especially in stages like 1140 where you have dulcum hiding behind an bison, you can pull the dulcum to your team nuke him and then you can slowly dismantle that bison team okay he can act as a tank he can act as um he can reduce accuracy okay He's just an overall really solid unit that can really help you progress in the, I would say early to mid game of campaign, okay? So my fifth tip is build a Cody, okay? He is a monster, all right, of a unit. Especially because, let's say for example, he falls off completely in the late game, who cares? Because with the awakening tree, right? 
you're going to get him right here to S+, plus, and then you can feed him into Chun-Li to get her to SS, okay? So he'll always have utility on your account no matter how he's utilized. So he's just a great investment, okay? But those are my top five tips for new players, um, people just joining the game, anyone that wants to make consistent progression on their account. I think all five of those, ti uh, those tips are really going to help you, okay? If this video helped you at all, all right, give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next Street Fighter Duel video. Peace.